Okay, I'm back. Now the important bit. How do you get Bioshock to work on an old Shader 2 card? Go here. Can you see this? I hope you can. Any good? For those you can't read, www. Um, P A O L O F R A N C H I N I dot com forward slash S H S H O C K forward slash view forum dot PHP question mark F equals one whatever. Go here. What you will find if I go the right way. Okay. R. I can get this thing to work. Right, look at this lot. <laughs> all these, all these lovely little things here are various patches to get Bioshock working on an old Shader 2 card. One I used was. Uh, when I find it, there we go. That one there. I'll zoom in on that. This guy, whoever you are. Thank you very much. You are ace. Now, click on that. Takes you to another page. Okay, yaga, yaga, yaga. Important bit. Down here. Give me the thing a chance to focus. That there is the file. Right, download that. And this is all I did. You're supposed to apparently delete some other files and whatever to make it work better. Perhaps it will, I don't know. All I wanted to do is get it working for a minute. Once it's working, I can piss around and set it up a bit better, maybe. But that's the important thing, just get it working. Right, you've got the file. Now, see what I mean about the icons? Now, look. All these games. Old and new. Yeah. It's just a very small selection of many, 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 many games. They also use a dual boot setup, set up with Windows 98, and I run a load of older games on there. All work with a Radeon 9950. Now. Navigate to your folder where you installed Bioshock. Okay. Builds. Release. That's where you want the file to go. So basically, drag and drop, copy paste, whatever you want to do, shove it straight in there. It'll overwrite an existing file in there. But if you want to keep it, alright, do what I did, just rename it. Call it whatever you like. Just leave it in there, rename it. If you ever do get the proper, if we ever, ever, ever do get the proper patch. There we go. Uh, where are you, little sod? There. That's the rename file. I've still got it. If I need it, I can put it back in again. Don't have to reinstall. Basically, that's it. And it runs... It works, it plays. So guys, go and do it. Don't be afraid of Bioshock. It will try and bite you in the ass. Download that file, slap it in there, and you should actually be able to play it. It took me bloody hours of hunting and searching and digging and ferreting around to find where these bloody patches were and to find one that worked correctly. And they gave me the graphic drivers to find one that worked correctly. So hopefully it'll save you guys a lot of time and a lot of messing around. If you've got an, a an old ATI card like me, go ahead, have fun, and play Bioshock at long last. Right, that's me signing off. Good luck, guys. Have fun. Off you go.